what a good news coming from IIT Madras. And IIT Madras is truly rocking in the sense of developing new age courses, giving online degrees and being the pioneers in allocating a separate category of admission for those students who are excelling in sports and fine arts. So, you know, a very good news coming from IIT Madras where they have launched new courses, new branches for the upcoming technologies and advancements which are happening, which is very much needed because students can't keep doing the old core branches and expect jobs. But we have to change our syllabus, change our branches and change the way we think. And kudos to IIT Madras. And if you think other colleges, be it IITs or private colleges, should also come up with such innovative courses. Please support this video by smashing this like button. And if you are happy about it, also smash the like button. So let's get to the point and see what courses has IIT Madras launched. By the way, they have launched courses at both UG level and at the postgraduate level. The first course is BS in Chemistry. And the admission is not done via JE. Rather, it is done via ISER aptitude test. Now, ISER is a very well-known research institute located, their campuses are located well across the country. And uh, many students give the IIT examination, which is a very different kind of examination, very research-oriented. And there are also some other colleges which, uh, you know, take the IIT score for their respective admissions. Like, for example, Biomedical Engineering in IIT Guwahati, a recently launched course, the admission happens through IIT. So if you're a 11th or a 12th standard student, please consider giving the IIT entrance exam. Many colleges have started accepting these course. So especially if you want BS chemistry in IIT Madras, definitely. MTech in electric vehicles, that's for postgraduate, MTech, not BTech. So the admission happens through GATE. So just like you have JE for undergraduate, you have GATE for postgraduate courses. Okay, maybe not so relevant for you right now. Two new BTech programs in the department of Applied Mechanics and Biomedical Engineering. Admission for both of them will happen through J. Wow, this is so cool. This is the third course which they have launched. Okay, BTEC program in Applied Mechanics and Biomedical Engineering. So, what are these courses? So, BS Chemistry is a four-year undergraduate program with an option for you to upgrade to MS Chemistry. So, the Masters also you can get. Everything happens at the IIT campus and it has a minor degree in chemistry along with data science. This is so cool. Just imagine you are getting a BS degree and along with that a minor degree in data science. Data science is a very top-notch relevant upcoming field. I mean, it's a very a trending field rather. You can carry out project work in allied sciences, engineering departments of the institute, opportunity to collaborate with other universities during MS, well-equipped teaching and research labs. Of course, it's IIT Madras. MTech in electric vehicles, they have mentioned everything, but since most of our audience is BTech audience, so let me just skip through it. But you can obviously visit this official website, it's there, easily searchable. Okay, BTech in computational engineering and mechanics. What is this? See, BTech program, this is a unique program which will prepare students for the future digital engineering careers because obviously, core engineering, like I said, is slowly dying out and it's always combined with either artificial intelligence or data science or analytics and computational and you know uh, maybe sometimes with material sciences sometimes bio and engineering are getting together medicals and engineering branches are coming together so and everything is being digitalized so they are making our students prepare for that in which physical systems converge with the computational and artificial intelligence it blends learning of classical engineering knowledge with modern computational tools and will position the graduates to address tomorrow's complex real world engineering challenges. This is the need of the hour for the future for you to not just get jobs but to be relevant even after you graduate for the next 30-40 years you should you know have a branch which you know is in demand. Your knowledge should not go waste or else you will have a degree. Many IITians have a degree but sometimes they don't find a promising career growth because maybe they have not done enough research when they chose the branch or maybe they chose a branch and for the sake of the IIT and tag and you know now they have to switch between careers. Next is BTEC in instrumentation and biomedical engineering where the program will uh, allow you to design clinically regulated ethically sensitive solutions that address global healthcare challenges and they prepare you for the leadership as well as entrepreneurship roles in medical device industry, rehabilitation technologies, AI-driven healthcare systems, 
in innovations, diagnostic and therapeutics. So those students who are interested in biomedics where, you know, engineering combines with biology and the medical sciences, right? That's a future. I mean, obviously, you cannot just rely only on a particular domain of knowledge. You need that interdisciplinary uh, things to evolve for our future technologies. All of these also uh, have that opportunity to upgrade to five-year dual tech degree, B.Tech plus M.Tech through interdisciplinary dual degree programs, three of which computational, biomedical, complex systems and dynamics are coordinated by faculty of the Department of Applied Mechanics and Biomedical Engineering. So this was the crucial update. I'm pretty sure you will be very happy to know about this. And I really hope other IITs and even other uh, colleges come up with such innovative thinking and new age branches. So if you want more such updates, make sure you are subscribed on the Vedantu J English channel. This was your Captain Shreyas. I am the physics master teacher. I have been training, mentoring, guiding kids for more than 13 years. Did my research from IIT Bombay and my degree from NIT Nagpur. So that was a quick intro about me. For more such useful videos, see, browse our channel and you will definitely find a lot of content, be it academics, be it strategies and so much more. And also do not forget that in case you are looking for any of the offline batches of Vedantu, well, just go ahead in the description box. You will see this particular link and you can definitely explore the different centers spread all across our country and you can explore the different JE and NEET courses for you, your brother, sisters who are probably in class 11th or 12th as well. All right. So do not forget to check out the link which is in the description box to book a visit for an offline center and explore all the you know, technologies, the classrooms, the doubt center, the doubt teachers, a student academic mentor, our guides, our top world-class faculties at the center. Okay. So God bless you all. Thank you for liking and please share this across. Bye-bye. Take care.